Okay, hi everyone. So, dito naman tayo sa Sir Moy Tutorials. Okay, so, ang topic natin ngayon is Transformer. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, we'll be solving some problems on uh, Transformers. Then, um, We'll be applying some of the formulas na, uh, yun, alam natin. Okay, so, let's move with uh, the first problem. Okay, so, ito yung problem natin. The full load copper loss of a transformer is 1,600 1, watts. At half load, the copper loss will be. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, Dapat meron tayong relation ng copper loss at um, full load to the copper loss at any load. Okay? So, that will be given by the formula PCU at any load. Okay? Is equals to X squared times PCU at reference load. Okay? So, ano yung reference load? Kahit anong load, no? Okay? So, since ang binigay sa atin na, ano, copper loss is um, 1,600 watts at full load. So, therefore, yung reference natin dito is magiging sa full load. Okay? So, what about this X here? Ano ba yung X dito? So, itong X dito is the ratio ng um, load, no? Kung ano yung hinahanapan natin copper loss. Okay? To the uh, load nung sa reference natin. So, in this case, it is the full load. So, that is the ratio between S ng L to the S of FL. Okay? And for this certain uh, this problem, yung X natin is equal to 1 half. Okay? So, substituting values. Okay? PCU at that load, which is at half load, is equal to 1 half squared times the PCU at full load, which is 1,600. Okay, so we have 400 watts. Okay, so claro. Next problem tayo. Okay, next problem is... To find the cross-sectional area of the core of a 10 turns transformer for a voltage of 50 volts at 50 hertz. The flux density is 0.9 Weber per meter squared. Okay, so, gagawin natin dito is to have an equation na induce EMF. No? So, ano ba yung formula ng induce EMF? So, induce EMF is equals to 4.44 Okay, times frequency, times the maximum flux in the core, and the number of turns. Okay, so, pag sa transformer, so kung primary yung hinahanap mo na voltage, so primary turns, secondary voltage, secondary turns. The same ang kanilang frequency, the same ang maximum flux. Okay, so, but yung given dito is flux density. Okay. So, sa formula dito is flux. Ano ba yung relation of flux at saka ni flux density? Okay. So, from flux density equals to flux over area. Therefore, itong flux, um, itong flux max is equals to beta max times the area. So, substituting that here, we have 4.44 times frequency times beta max times area then multiplied by the number of turns. Okay. Then, solving for the area. Area is equals to E divided by 4.44 times the frequency times the BM or beta max times the number of turns. Okay. So, lahat given. No? So, the voltage equals to 50. Okay. Tapos yung Frequency equals to 50 hertz 
maximum flux density is 0 0.9 and lastly yung number of turns is 10 okay. so if you okay calculate it you see our calculator here so you have 50 over 4.44 times 50 times 0 0.9 times 10 okay. so that is about 0 0.025 so that is repeating ano? so approximately no? 0 0.025 So, since metric ang flux natin, so the, the area is in meter squared. Okay. Then next, we have a 5 kVA transformer. 5 kVA, 440 slash 2020 volt single phase transformer has primary and secondary winding resistance of 2 ohms and 0 0.8 ohm respectively. The primary and secondary reactances are 10 ohms and 1.5 ohms respectively. Find the secondary terminal voltage at full load and 0.8 power factor lagging. Okay, so, dalawang resistances at dalawang reactances yung given. Primary at saka secondary. Okay, so, for convenience, dapat i-refer natin yung uh, impedance na yan. It's either primary or secondary. But since yung hinahanap sa atin is yung secondary terminal voltage, so better i-refer uh, natin to the secondary. Okay, so equivalent um, equivalent circuit ng ating transformer. So, ganito na. No? Referred to the um, secondary. So, yung mga impedances. Okay, so we have that load here. So, tawagin natin ZE2. That is na impedance um, referred to the secondary. Okay. Tapos, ito yung secondary voltage. Ito yung hinahanap natin. Okay. So, we have secondary induced voltage. Okay. We have primary induced voltage and we have primary voltage supply. Okay. So, since walang impedance in between these two, okay, we can say that VP is equals to B1. And that would be probably equal to the um, uh, 440. Okay? So, 440 volts. Okay? So, therefore, so using the turns ratio from B1 to B2, we can get B2, okay? It's conveniently by this ratio from 440. Therefore, the secondary is 220. 220 volts. So, okay, na si B1 sa B2. Then, if we have impedance in between two voltages, okay, and the current is papunta sa load, okay, so this is our I secondary, okay. So, to get B2 in vector, so B2 is equal to, uh, I mean, Bs is equals to B2, okay, Minus I times IS times Z E2. Okay. So, since wala naman tayong um, ang meron tayo is the power factor of the load. But we don't have power factor of the um, yung sa, term, sa induced voltage. No? So, you can also rewrite this as B2 equals to Bs okay, plus Is times Ze2. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, what is our Ze2 now? No? Solving for the impedance referred to the secondary. So, ang Ze2, okay, as is yung Z2, okay, but yung Z1, uh, refer natin to secondary, secondary. So, Z1 over A squared. Okay. What is now our Z2? Z2 is equals to uh, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.9 times 
plus j 1.5 okay plus yung z1 naman we have 2 plus j10 over um, 440 over 220 squared. Okay? So, since 440 over 220 is um, 2, then squaring that is 4. So, ibig sabihin, divide lang natin ng 4. Itong dalawang to, then we combine that here. So, we will get ZE2 is equal to 0.8 plus 2 over 4 uh, one half so or 0.5 so we get 1.3 plus j ito naman uh, 10 over 4 is 2.5 plus 1.5 we get 4 so 1.3 plus j 4 ohms okay how about the current okay so the current now is plus 2 so this is full load uh, secondary current so based tayo sa uh, normal voltage and no, rated uh, apparent power. So, that is 5,000 over uh, 220. Okay. So, it is 5,000 over 220. Okay, that is 22.73 ampere. Okay. So, magnitude pa lang yan. Huh? So, get, to get the angle that is R cosine of the power factor. Okay. Basically, yung ginagamit natin is ito. No? So, to get BS, okay? so, pwedeng um, ano tayo? in vector. So, magnitude of V2. Okay? Then, we have angle of uh, between BS and V2, which is lambda, is equals to BS, magnitude of BS. Okay? Then, basically, ito yung reference natin. So, that would be angle 0. Okay. Tapos, yung 22.73. Okay. So, IS. Okay. Angle negative theta. Okay. Then, ZE2. Okay. So, substituting values, you get um, 220. Okay. With angle lambda equals to BS, so which is unknown. So, angle, uh, BS, angle 0, plus um, IS, which is 22.73, angle of R cosine of negative R cosine of 0 0.8. Okay. So, pag nasanay kayo, so that is actually um, equal lang yan sa 36.87. Okay. Then ZE2 is equals to 1.3 plus J4. Okay. So, ano lang. No? Then, how do you solve that? No? Okay. So, we will try to, ano, to transfer this angle to the other. So, ibig sabihin, pa, i cancel out natin na to by multiplying an angle equal to negative r cosine of uh, a one angle of cosine r cosine of 0.8 no so ibig sabihin lahat ito magdadagdagan ng uh, 36.87 so ito negative 36.87 plus 36.87 maging 0 so magiging 220 ito 220 angle of lambda uh, plus 36.87 Okay. Equals BS. Okay. Angle of 36.87. Okay. Dito naman, 22.73 okay. times 1.3 plus J4 na lang. Okay. Nawala na yung angle. No? So, kasi yung angle niya is magiging zero na. Okay. So, purpose nito is to easily um, um, gather uh, real part at saka imaginary part. Okay? So, we get here the 
So, 220. So, as is na lang to. Kasi, we don't need to get the real part and imaginary part here. Only sa right side. Okay. Plus 2. Ito. Real part nito. Okay. So, you have BS times um, cosine of 36.7. So, that is 0 0.8. Okay. Plus, real part naman ito is 22.73 uh, times 1.3 okay. squared uh, okay. plus J. Okay. Plus J. Dito naman yung imaginary part niya. So, that is equals to BS. Uh, sign of 36.7, so you have 0 0.6, okay, plus 22.73, okay, times 4, okay, so since ito na real part, ito imaginary part, okay, by component method, the Pythagorean relation, so you get 220 squared is equal to that value, Vs times 0 0.8 plus 22.73 times 1.3 squared okay. then plus Vs okay, times 0 0.6 plus 22 Point seventy three times four and squared. Okay, so you see again the calculator. Okay, so to solve for that, um, I don't BS, no, so two twenty squared. Okay equals quantity so we let that x okay, times 0 0.8 plus 22.73 times 1.3 squared plus quantity x times 0 0.6 plus 22.73 times 4 close and close then squared shift calc then so kuha tayo ng value no within the ano uh, sa choices no? it's about 150 okay. so we get 134.82 okay so 134.82 so makukuha natin value pala is Magnitude of Vs is equals to 132.82. Volts. Okay. So, pero kung tingnan nyo choices, walang, walang exacto na value. But the closest is ito. Pero di tayo kumbinsido, ano? Kasi uh, ma medyo malayo na yung 132 kaysa kay 141.8. Okay? So, that is because the author uses different ano, formula. Okay? So, ano yung formula ginamit ni author pala? Okay? So, balikan natin no? uh, yung difference, no? Approximate formula ng difference between the um ano voltages no in between impedance okay so yung voltage natin na B2 okay, mag minus voltage natin sa terminal is equal to i times r cosine of theta plus x sine of theta okay so, actually, this is plus or minus. No? So, plus kung laging yung power factor, minus kung leading naman yung power factor. 
Okay? So, to solve for BS, BS yung hinahanap natin, di ba? So, BS, magnitude is equals to, pagpalit na lang natin yung position, that is equals to magnitude ng B2, minus I times R cosine of theta, plus X sine theta. Okay? So, substituting values, magnitude ni B2, which is equals to 20. Okay? Ito, magnitude na to Wala nang, hindi na complex. Okay? So, how about yung current? 22.73. Okay? So, we have 22.73 times R. R natin is 1.3 times cosine of theta, which is equals to 0.8. Okay? Plus x sine theta, no? 4, okay? Times 0.6. Okay? So, let's try it sa calculator. Okay? So, 220 minus 22.73 times 1.3 times 0.8. Then, plus 4 times 0.6. Okay, so there we have 141.8. Answer is 141.8 volts. Exacto, exacto. Okay. So 141.8. Next problem. Okay. Find the efficiency of a 150 kBA transformer at 25% full load at 0.8 power factor lagging. If copper losses are 160 watts at full load and iron losses are 1,400. Okay, so may typo error lang dito. Okay, so itong 160, no? Kung papansin nyo, so full load. So, dapat medyo magkalapit lang sila ng value ni iron loss. Okay, so so that is 1,600, not um, 160. Okay, so if we have that, so, hanapin natin yung copper loss, no? So, kasi yung efficiency is output over input. Tapos yung uh, input is output plus the losses. Diba? So, solve mo natin yung losses. Okay? So, copper loss muna. PCU at quarter load or uh, load at 25%. No? Full load. So, that is equals to X squared times PCU full load. So, same formula ng kanina. Okay, so, that is 0.25 squared times PCU full load na 1,600. Okay. So, we will get uh, 100 watts. Okay. So, yung core loss given naman which is equals to 1,400 watts. Okay. Then, how about the load? No? PL natin. So, that is at quarter load. That is equals to S, di ba? X times SL. X times S times the power factor. Okay? So, yung X natin is 0.25 times S natin na uh, 150,000 in power factor of 0 0.8. So, PL natin would be equal to 0.25 times 150 times 2.8. So, that is 30,000. 30,000 watts. And then finally, for the efficiency, that is equal to output over... Um, input, which is output plus the losses. P out plus the losses. And the losses naman is combination ng copper loss and the core loss. Okay. So, then multiply by 100%. Okay. So, 30,000 over 30,000 plus 100 plus 1,400 times 100 percent okay. so the 30,000 
That's one I'm done. Okay, so that is 95.24. So we get 95.24%. So, tang tama sa choices. Okay, then, next problem. An 8 kVA 440 2000 volt. 50 hertz single phase transformer gave the following test results. No load test at 440 volt, 0.8 ampere, 80 watts. Short circuit test, 50 volt, 3 amperes, 20 watts. Calculate the magnetizing current and the component corresponding to iron losses at normal voltage and frequency. So, pag ito, ang given. So, magnetizing current is the current through the core. no? So, which is... Um, which produces the flux, no? magnetizing. Eh. Okay? So, pag, ano, pag magnetizing, so, ang kailangan lang natin na data is sa no-load test. Okay? Kasi yung magnetizing is yung current yun papunta sa core. No? So, at no-load test, no? so, basically, walang, walang current sa secondary, or, yeah, secondary. Okay? So, and through the secondary induced voltage, wala din current papunta doon. Okay, the only current will be um, papunta sa core natin. And the core is maybe represented by a parallel combination of a resistance and reactant. Okay? So, ganyan. No? So, the resistance here is your, um, or your core resistance. Okay? Ito naman is your reactants. Okay? So, dito, ang, ang current to the core is IO. Current to the resistance is IC or the core current, core loss current. And current naman dito is yung magnetizing current. Okay? So, most probably, ito yung hinanap. And the voltage applied is 440 volts. Okay? So, since 440 volts is the normal voltage ng transformer natin, so therefore, itong mga values na to are at normal condition din. Okay? Kahit no load test siya, so equivalent yan sa values niya at normal condition. Okay? At full load. Okay, so, therefore, yung IO ng transformer is equivalent to I at no load. And that is equal to 0 0.8 um, amperes. Okay. So, sa so makita nyo, so this is purely resistive, purely reactive. Therefore, the current here are displaced 90 electrical degrees. Okay. So, ganito yung itsura ng phasor ng tatlong current na yan. Okay. So, ito yung yung IM natin. Ito yung IC. And ito naman yung IO. Okay, so IO now is the resultant, no? And uh, how do we get I, um, I, IC? Okay, so how, how do you get IC, no? Since ito, purely resistive, okay? Yung power dyan is equals to the product ng current and the voltage lang, no? So voltage across here is equals to 440 and the current is IC. Therefore, yung power no, dun sa ating resistance is equals to uh, current times the voltage lang. No? IC times the voltage ng primary. Okay? Then solving for IC, IC is equals to PM or that is equals to uh, no load power over DP. And ko, no load power okay, divided by DP. Okay, substituting values, this is equals to 80. Okay, then yung voltage is 440. Okay, so therefore, yung IC is just equal to 0.182. So that is 0.182 amperes. 
So, balito itong isa yan, isa to sa hinahanap niya, no? Component corresponding to the iron loss. Okay? So, isa sa hinahanap na sagot. But since isa lang yung nasa choices, tigi isa lang. Okay, therefore, most likely, yung hinahanap niya ng sagot dito is the magnetizing current. Okay? So, yung relation ng magnetizing current is just um, parang Pythagorean relation lang. Yes? Okay? So, square root of square root of I O squared minus I C squared. So, substituting values. I O is equal to 0 0.8 squared minus uh, 0.182 squared. Okay. Then there we have it. Uh, square root of 0.8 squared minus Okay. So the answer is 0 0.779 or approximately 0 0.78 amperes. Okay. Then for the last problem, okay. A 100 kVA transformer, 1000 kVA transformer with 0 0.02 plus J.1 per unit impedance and a 500 kVA transformer with 0 0.015 plus J.0.05 per unit impedance are operating in parallel. The no load, bol the no load secondary voltages of the two transformers are equal. How will they share a load of 1,500 kVA at unity power factor load? Okay, so the ratio between the shares no, of the load ng dalawang transformer in parallel. So, take note. So, dapat yung EMFs nila are equal. Okay? Para ma-apply nyo to yung uh, ma-apply nyo yung uh, theorem, no? Na inverse ratio. Okay? So, S1, okay? Share ni, ni transformer 1 over share ni transformer 2 is equal to the inverse ratio ng impedances nila. Okay? C2, okay? Over Z1. Ganyan. Okay. Take note, impedance, not per unit impedance. Okay? So, pwede siyang per unit impedance, basta same ang kanilang basis. Okay? Referred to the same base. But, since pag ganito pagkasulat, no? So, ibig sabihin, itong per unit na to is based sa kanyang KBA rating. Ito naman is based sa kanyang KBA rating. Okay? Let's get, um, uh, let's have Z1 as is. So, which is equals to 0 0.02, okay, plus J 0 0.1 per unit. Pero yung Z2 natin, so we need to transform it to the base ng first uh, transformer. Okay, para magkapareho na sila ng base. C2 is equals to, ano yung pag-change pag ng base, that is equals to Z old times uh, S new over S old. Okay, so that would be S, uh, 0 0.015, okay, plus J, 0 0.05, okay, times 1,000, yung new niya, divided by old, 5,000. So basically, parang nag times 2 lang tayo dito, Z2 is equals to 0 0.03, plus J, 0 0.05. Okay, that is per unit. Then, so, substitute natin dito. So, you have S1 over S2 is equal to Z2 na 0 0.03 plus J 0 0.05 divided by Z1 naman na 0 0.02 plus J okay. So, this is not 0 0.05 but 0 0.1 okay, 0 0.1 okay. so S1 over S2 equals 0 0.03 plus J 0 0.1 over 0 0.02 plus J, 0 0.1. Okay? 
So, we're gonna have relation ng S1 at saka S2. S1 is equal to, if we let this as A, or if we store that sa um, memory A, so therefore yung S1 is equal to A times S2. Okay. So, let's try to put it sa ating memory. No? Mode, complex tayo. Okay. So, you have 0 0.03 plus 0 0.1 i over 0 0.02 plus 0 0.1 i plus store natin sa a so no need to get to get the value no basta naka store na sa a okay so sinabi niya na yung load natin is 1500 kba at unity power factor so, when they are operating in parallel, S1, okay, share ni 1 plus share ni 2 is equals to the total load. Okay, so that would be equal to 1,500 in KBA tayo, angle of 0 kasi uh, unity. Okay, so this would be our equation 1. Ito naman yung equation 2 natin. Okay, substituting equation 1 to our equation 2. So, we have AS2 plus S2 over one uh, equals to 1,500 angle of 0. Then, factoring, factoring out S2 here. So, then transposing A plus 1 to the other side. So, solving for S2. S2 is simply equals to 1,500 angle of 0 divided by A plus 1. Okay. And finally, meron na tayong value ng S1. So, that is equals to 1,500. Angle of 0 is still 1,500. Okay. Alpha A plus 1. Then, equals, we have in polar form, equals 742.01. Seven hundred forty-two point zero one angle of two point seventy-three. That is positive. KBA. Okay. So see S two yan. No? How about S one? So ang S one is simply equals to one thousand five hundred angle of zero minus ni. S2 na 742.01 angle of 2.73. Okay. So, our S1 is to 1,500 angle of 0 is still uh, 1,500 minus answer. Then, transform to uh, polar form. We get 759.64 angle of negative 2.66. So that would be in KVA. Okay. So, ato yung dalawang values ning S natin. Okay, so you can see, um, 742.72 nakuha natin, uh, 742.01, so, and atong ang um, isa, 757.28, okay, so nakuha natin 759.64, okay, so the, the slight difference ng dalawa, ng mga values, is due to the background of ni author, okay, most likely itong mga, Ito ang mga references kasi na ng at, ng ating mga board exams at saka no are um, taken from some editions na no way back no okay so wala pang mga calculator na nagso-solve ng ganito pareho sa calculator natin ngayon okay so that's why they need to uh, round off no so along the calculations nila. 
Okay. So, to sa atin, we are um, fortunate enough na magkaroon ng uh, technology na bago. Okay. So, that ends our transformer lesson for today. Good day and God bless everyone.